Hi there, I'm Zach from Race Supply in Queensbury. With the fall season coming up and with it hiking, hunting, camping, sports and leaf peeping, I would like to take a moment today to talk to you about some binoculars. We carry a large line of Nikon binoculars and I'd like to tell you all about them and what you can look for in a new pair of binoculars. The first and most important thing is that the binoculars are comfortable to use and fit you. Many compact binoculars have a very small space in between the eyepieces while some larger binoculars have a very wide space. It's not uncommon to find a pair of binoculars that just won't fit your face, especially for those of us that wear glasses. The most important thing, regardless of the specs or how clear the binoculars look, is that they fit you and they're comfortable to use and they're not too heavy to carry around. If they're too heavy, you won't use them, and then they're not very good binoculars. Speaking of specs, let's talk about the numbers on the binoculars. In general, each binocular has got three main numbers you'll want to pay attention to. The first number is the magnification. These are a pair of 10 by 42 binoculars. That means that these are approximately 10 times closer than what you would see without a pair of binoculars. Now everyone's eyes are a little bit different and that does include the people that design and manufacture these binoculars. However, if you have these and another pair of 10 power binoculars, they should look about the same distance to you. Keep in mind that magnification is not necessarily based on size. There are a lot of very compact, high magnification binoculars out there, and a lot of very large binoculars with not much magnification at all. The second number on these binoculars refers to the lens opening or how much light it lets in. Again, these are 10 by 42, so the opening is a 42. Unfortunately, that number is linked to the size of the binoculars. These guys are much larger than these, so these will of course have a much smaller opening. This is an 8 by 21. That lens opening is going to refer to how much light they let in or how bright they are. Now, in a lot of cases, you might not need a larger pair of binoculars. Something like this, if you're using them during the day for hiking or a baseball game or taking out on the lake, these will usually let in about as much light as most people can see during the day. If you're using them in low light, say for early morning bird watching or hunting or perhaps taking to a concert, these larger binoculars and the fact that they let in more light is going to be extremely helpful for you. The third number to look for in a binocular is the angle of view. These here have a 5.5 degree angle of view. The best way to think about it, that is this. If you're looking through a hole, the angle of view is how large that hole is. It's the same distance, the same magnification, and the same brightness, but you're looking at a very large hole or potentially a very small hole. Now, just like the magnification and just like the brightness, you don't necessarily always need the widest angle of view. If you're watching a concert or watching something that isn't moving very much, a compact pair of binoculars with a fairly narrow angle of view will suit you just fine. But if you're using them for birding or for watching sports or hunting or anywhere where there might be a lot of things going on, you probably want to get the widest angle of view that you can find. That's an awful lot of talk about specs. Do you need a second to get a cup of coffee? I'll wait. Just uh, get me one too, please. Oh, hey, thanks. Now that we got that out of the way, let's take a minute and talk about some different types of binoculars and whether or not a higher end pair of Nikon binoculars is going to be for you. Because 10 by 42 is the most common general purpose size, that's the size we're going to be using as the basis for all of our comparisons. You can see from the chart that a lot of these changes are pretty incremental. You pay a little more and you get a little more. For general use, such as watching a sporting event or watching wildlife at camp, they're all great binoculars. And whichever one fits your budget is exactly the right pair for you. But some people may have more specific needs. The Pro Staff 5 series is Nikon's introduction to high performance binoculars. They lack the durability of the higher end models and some of the optical improvements. But if you're not using them for long periods of time and you aren't concerned about damaging them, the Pro Staff 5 series is a great looking binocular and an absolute bargain. But if they're going to get stuffed into a backpack, 
you'd be much better off with a Pro Staff 7 or better. The higher end Monarchs are much lighter, but the Pro Staffs look great and they're both rubber armored and they're both waterproof. If you suffer from migraines or any sort of eye problems, the optical improvements in some of the higher end binoculars will make them a lot easier for you to use, especially for extended viewing. You'd be very happy with anything from the Monarch series. Lastly, the Monarch 7 series features an extra wide viewing angle, allowing you to see much, much more going on around you than with other binoculars. They can also be used as a magnifying glass as well, thanks to their excellent close focusing ability. So, there you have it. Ray Supply carries a wide range of Nikon binoculars, including many not discussed in this video. I'm sure that we have just the right pair to fit your budget and your needs. And after watching this video, you should have a very good idea of what to look for when shopping for a new pair of binoculars. I'm Zach, and I'll see you in the store.